Hi everyone, Chris from Elite Martial Arts here. So today's class is for the white belts to blue belts, um, and it's for the week starting the 15th of February. You'll have to apologise because I did purples and buffs first. Don't know why I just got a little bit confused. Um, so it's half term this week, so I hope you enjoy the no homeschooling. Um, happy Valentine's Day today because I'm actually recording this on. Valentine's Day, February the 14th. Um, wife isn't too happy, I don't think. Oops. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. So today we are going to work a bit more on the knee. Um, so last time, uh, Graham taught the last class, uh, last week's class, I'm doing every other like he is. Um, and our last session was our knees, wasn't it, here? So a front knee and a back knee. So there's lots of different variations of the knee. Yeah, I showed you the inverted knee. Inside crescent knee, outside crescent knee. And we've got powerful side knees, Mawashi, he's a very so roundhouse knees. Um, and they all come with time. What I want to touch on today though is still work on the knee, but also involving the elbow, is how we would use our knee strike as a defensive technique rather than a offensive technique. So what I mean by that, um, I realise I'm using some big words here. And some of you might be really young as white belts. What I mean by this is, when we hit something, we are attacking the target, the opponent, the opposition, whichever one you want to use. When we are defending, being defensive, we are being attacked. Yeah, so we don't want to get hurt. So our defensive strikes are blocks, yeah? But I could also use my knee as a block. Same as I can use my elbow as a block. Rather than just trying to strike and hurting my target to keep me safe, I'm using it to stop getting hit by a fist or a kick, or a staff, or a baton, or whatever, a chair. They don't always work, because the thing about blocking that we don't teach you as a white belt is timing. We teach you how to do the moves. Yeah? Boom, boom. But what we don't teach you to do as a white belt is to stand in front of someone and have to block. That comes a little bit further in your training. Yeah? Blocking using a knee, however, or an elbow, can be quite painful. Yeah? If you've ever been kicked in the shin, or knocked your shin against a chair, or a bike, or whatever, you know it hurts. And it makes you want to go, ah! Okay? So, this is where using our shins, our knees, elbows, can be really beneficial for us, but it can also be pretty painful when we're learning how to do them against an opponent. Yeah? So we just gotta be careful. So defences, that's what I want to go through. Defensive elbow and a defensive knee. That's what we're gonna to touch on today. So the other side of a knee strike. Yeah? Uh, otherwise, you know the general rules, the gist. Make sure you've got plenty of space. Make sure you've got a drink. I've got my drink just there. Uh, I might be looking down there because that's where my lesson plan is. And you know what I like? I get confused easily. I'm like a magpie and a shiny thing. Like that. So, otherwise, just enjoy and try and keep up. Well, that's going to be a little bit different because we need to stretch a couple of different muscles for our uh, legs to do this. So, like I said, just keep going. I'm back. Okay, and with me. Back and forwards. Crossing. Sorry, I forgot my words then. Might be another week like last time. In all fairness, I'm doing this at like 10 o'clock at night as well. It's 
Side jumps. And up and down. And then just shake on the jog. I'll throw it like that side to side. still. I'll have to blink and breathe. I'm not talking at all through these minutes now. So starting in five, four, three, two, one, and go. One minute, excellent effort, every single one of you. So in that minute, you should have caught your breath back. So you shouldn't be out of breath anymore. Right, homework, I'm gonna tell you it now. It's the same for the next class, so the purples and above, and it's also the same for the adults, yeah? It is to practice your breathing. The way we want, I want you, I, I want you, um, is to breathe in for one second, and out for one second. Okay, if that's easy, breathe in for two seconds. Out for two seconds. Okay, if I can do it that way, I want to try and breathe in for three seconds. And out for three seconds. Always breathing in from my nose, out from my mouth. Four seconds, if you can manage it. I want you to try this until you can get to five seconds. Breathe it in for five seconds and out for five seconds. Yeah? So before bed, for the next two weeks, this is what I want you to practice. Try and do it 20 times until you can breathe in through your nose for five seconds and out of your mouth for five seconds. So you've got to be able to pace it. You've got to be able to practice and learn how much air you need to breathe in and how much air you need to breathe out. Okay. And that will help with some of your fitness, but it will also help a lot with your punches and your throwing is a big part of it. Yeah? So that's the homework. Like I said, the next class and the adults class are all getting the same homework this week and that is what it is. So, going on from that, stretches warm up. Okay, so heads all the way up. And all the way down. One side. And the other side. To the center. Here, one shoulder. Centre on the other side. To the centre. Circles one way. And the other way. <clears throat> 
Excellent. Okay. Shoulder forward. And backwards. Okay. Elbow forward. And back. And arms forward. And take a turn to face the other way. Change. To centre. Okay. From behind, push down. Change. Now relax. Okay. Hands up and down. Side to side. Circles. And the other way. Strong fists, strong tight as you can, tight as you can, tight, 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 and relax. And open them wide. And tight, 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 as you can, squeeze. And relax. Excellent. Okay, hands on your hips. Push forward. Centre. And back. I'm going to apologise right now, I found a hole in my sock, I'm very disgusted in myself for it. As soon as I've left here tonight, they are going to be been. So if you do see one of my piggies poke out during the class, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so it's one side. Stretch out. Take hold. And down. Centre. And the other side. Stretch. And take hold. And back up. Excellent. Okay, so this time, tonight, slightly different leg stretches. From here, I'm just going to bring my knee up. Okay. Change sides. Off we go. Oh, excuse me. Shake. Okay. Knees. Inside. Inside. Inside crescent knees. Okay. That's it. Side crescent knees. Keep it going. Okay. Shake your legs. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna go out with it. Just bring it up to the side. Just gonna do five of these. The other side. Whoa. Okay, 
okay, and from here, knees to the side. Change. One more on each side of these. Change. Oh, oh, got lovely. And relax, excellent. Okay, one arm out, catch your foot, knees together. Heel to bone, push your hips forward if you need to keep your arm out or hold on to something, that's fine. If not, just rest your arm and keep it up by your face. Change. And then knees together, heel to bone, push your hips forward. Change. 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 Now last time, change. We'll go to our side now, so same as we've been doing the past couple of weeks. Okay, I'm not going to go as slowly, we need to speed it up, get a little bit further with it tonight, hopefully. Okay, just tie myself up a little like a messy gee. So straight legs all the time, okay, they're not allowed to be bendy, just let your body sink forward, just like that. Okay, hands on your knees. Into your shins. Ankles. Shins. Keep those legs straight. Ankles. Toes. And stand on your toes. Back to your ankles. Toes. And then tips your fingers such the floor, legs completely straight still. Go back to your toes. Stand on them, oh, stand on your fingers. Legs still straight, onto your fingers. And then down into fists, so your fists are touching the floor now. Back onto your fingers. Back to your toes, ankles, shins, 
knees. Big bend the knees. And slowly come back up. Shake your legs. Excellent. So, one more new exercise now. It's called a split squat. I don't think any of you would have done this one yet. Which is fine. It's not a problem. It's a class because you learn. Okay? So, what we're going to do is going to squat down like we're doing Chinese handstand. Keep one leg bending where it is. Both hands on the floor, and with the other leg, I want you to put it out to the side, nice and straight. Okay, and just to learn, <clears throat> just for yourselves to learn this, this is as far as we're going to go. So fingers in front of our uh, bendy leg, and fingers touching our straight leg. And that straight leg wants to stay as straight as we can, and all I want to do is try and just push my nose down to my belly button. Okay, and relax. And the way we change is we put both hands in front of us again, and then we just swap the legs over, like that. Then one hand goes in front of the bendy leg, and one leg touches, uh, one arm touches the straight leg. And then nose down to belly button. Hands in the middle, change, and say again. So, Nose down to belly button, you should feel it getting tight along the inside of your leg and the back of your leg. If not, you need to lean a little bit further into your belly button. Hands in the middle and change. So we're not going to rush this one, we take our time. Change again, so we've got one more change on each leg. And change for the last time. Excellent. Okay, back up. Feet together and shake. Ooh. Okay, right, today's fitness is really simple, yeah? 30 seconds, and I want you to pretend like you've got a skipping rope in your hands. Oh, by the way, we've got to skip two. And all we're going to do is 30 seconds of skipping. We'll do 30 seconds of skipping, then 30 seconds off, 30 seconds of skipping, 30 seconds off. Get ready, and go. So I want you to pretend that you're skipping, so you're moving those legs, you're moving those arms, those wrists. Okay? If you need to skip like that, my both feet are leaving the ground at the same time, that's fine. If you think you can do it one at a time, so it's sort of like you're jogging, that's brilliant. Or if you can think you can do it like the boxers do. Okay, stop. Whew. Whew, that was a hard 30 seconds, that. So, 30 seconds off. Whew. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So, this next time, I want you to go a little bit faster. Okay? So, 15 seconds left. So, we always want to make sure that we make the most out of these um, breaks in between, these rest breaks in between the exercises. Because this time, it's going to be a little bit faster. Okay, so no slow pokes. Get ready, start with those wrists and go. Okay, so I'm moving my feet, I'm still moving my hands, I'm changing the way I do it. And now, double footed. One at a time. Still going a little bit faster than I was a minute ago. Got five seconds left. Keep it going. And relax. Whoo! Wowza! Whew. Feel like I've just run the marathon. London one, of course, the best. But wowza, that was hard work, that one. Hmm, what shall we do next one? Knees up. You reckon we can do knees up for a full 30 seconds? I don't know. Shall we? Yeah, let's try it. Five seconds left. 
one hand go. Ready, knees up. It's not as fast, but getting those knees up, still using those hands. Okay, that's 10 seconds. 20 seconds left. Keep moving those hands, keep those knees up. Well done everyone, halfway there. Don't forget to breathe. Got five seconds left. Get those knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. And stop. Well done every single one of you. Okay, just shake. Let's go into your dachi. So we're going to do the statue again. One minute. I'm not going to say a bean. Not a word's coming out of my mouth. Breathe in through your mouth though. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And blink. You're allowed to blink, you're allowed to breathe. I love you wiggle your toes a little bit if you want as well. But one minute starting now. Well done. Get yourself a drink. Fantastic work. Okay, so I'm getting my drink. Juice! Aye, aye, aye. Right. So, you have to excuse me, I'm still wearing my uh, neck buff because it is freezing in here. Because I don't want to put the heating on. I think it's silly putting the heating on just for me. Just wear more clothes. So everything that we do in the warm up, the stretching and the fitness is to help you become better at karate. Yeah, it's not all about doing the moves over and over and over and over again. It's about getting you as a person, getting your body stronger, able to move in different ways or getting different muscles moving. That's why it's so important to do the warm up, to do the stretches, to do the little bit of fitness that the instructor designates you because we know what we're doing to get the best out of you and sometimes the exercises are horrible burpees burpees and bunny hops are the two worst exercises in the world especially when you do one of the higher level and uh, fitness exercises when you get to the brown belts we call it bunny hop hell and oh it's not nice but the reason we do that is because it helps strengthen the bones, it helps strengthen the tendons and this, all the strings in your body that help you move your fingers. It also gives you more power for doing kicks. But did you notice just then that I did three very strong and powerful kicks, but I didn't put my foot down in between each kick, and each kick was still powerful. So the big part of that was our balance. So some of the stretches that we do, and actually most of the leg stretches that you do, you have to work with balance, you have to fight against gravity. So another one of them is where we do that balance work. Okay, so this is another really important part. So today, instead of throwing out your punches, I want you, oh, falling already. I want you to have a go at doing Blocks. Okay, so one, two, nice and slowly. Three, oh, four, five, six. Can you see how my arms are coming back to my belt each time? Seven and eight might be a little bit difficult. Seven, four, and eight. And back. One. Oh. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that one's not easy. That one is hard. Other leg. Find your balance. So again, we're not doing our punches this time because our punches are just going straight forward. Our blocks are working in different directions. Okay, let's start on my belt. Okay, oh, oh, I'm losing my balance. I'm losing my balance. Ah. No, I'm just going to put my foot down. So it doesn't matter if that happens. 31 years old, four black belts, and I can't stand on one leg. <laughs> We've all got to get better, don't we? Doesn't matter how good you think the black belts are, each one of us has our own little weakness, okay? So, with me, one, two, oh, three, oh, turns out my weakness is standing on my left leg, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Oh. Oh. I'm back on it one more time. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Oh. My feet are burning. So. You might find that a little bit easier than what I might. I'm doing this on really soft mats. You know, the mats that you bounce on when you get thrown. You might be doing it on a wooden floor, which is a lot better to do that with. But this, working on this floor, helps with your balance. You learn how to balance better, faster. But that, off every single one of you, was fantastic. Right then. So we've done our warm-up, we've done our stretches, we've done our little bit of fitness and our balance work. Little combination now, and the reason it's only a little combination is because it's going to have four moves, little, but it's to help us learn how to get our blocks, our defensive techniques working. So left leg in front, fist up. I'm going to do a front punch, and then I'm going to do a rising, block, a rising elbow off my back arm. Have you noticed how I didn't step them? Usually when we do our rising elbow, we step. And that's because we want to hit the opponent in the chin. So we've got to get closer. However, when I do it from here, I'm not bringing my elbow all the way up. I'm just bringing it to the side of my head. And that is to stop a kick, for instance, hitting me in the side of the head. My arm has taken all of the shock. Okay? So from here, one, two, I'm blocking a roundhouse kick. Next thing is number three, punch the belly. Yeah? Number four, I'm going to bring my leg in a knee up to the side. So now I'm blocking someone's low roundhouse. So with my first block, this one, my rising elbow, I'm blocking a roundhouse to the head. Or it might be a haymaker, or a hook, yeah, or a knife hand. Something coming to the side of my head. So for me, one, two, I'm blocking, three, to the belly, four, okay? And I'm not pushing my hip out with my knee, I'm just bringing my knee up, okay? From here, it's just coming up. Yeah, it's not coming out, and it's not going forward. It's just coming up. So from here, front punch to the face. One. Two is blocking. Yeah, so rising elbow. Two. Three to the belly. Four. Just coming up. And all that's doing is stopping the roundhouse kick coming into my ribs. Because if I bring my knee up there, their shit's going to catch my knee. And they're going to get hurt. They're going to put their foot down and go, Mummy, ow, it hurts. Okay? 
So it's really important that we get that knee high above our belt, but not forward and not too far to the side. So, are we ready? From here, one, two, three, four, and back. I'm not rushing this, we are low grades, learning quite high level stuff, but I thought I'd introduce you to these two new blocks, because why not? You may as well start learning some of the higher stuff that you can use now. So we're going to do it 10 times on this side, then we'll swap over, have a practice on the other side and 10 times on the other side. But this is something I want you to remember. So with me, okay, one punch, elbow block, punch, knee block, two, punch, elbow block, punch, knee block. And can you see how my fist come back to my face to protect? Even though I've blocked there and I've blocked here, I'm only blocking one side. Remember, the opponent has two sides, so this hand is protecting the rest of my body while my elbow and my knee are protecting this side. Three, punch, block, punch, block, fist back up by my face. Four, punch, block, punch, block. Five, punch, block, punch, block. I'm not going to shout it out anymore, just a number. Six. Seven. Eight. So now I'm moving a little bit faster. I'm not going to go too fast. Uh, what was I on? Seven or eight? We're going to go for eight again. If, if I think I did seven. But eight. Nine. Ten. Excellent. Let's swap sides. So now I'm practicing the other side. So whichever leg is in front is the front hand. Front punch to the face. Back elbow block. Front punch to the belly. Back knee block. So front punch to the face. Back elbow block. Remember it's stopping a kick or a punch or something coming to the side of your head. Yeah? But because this arm's up here now, this is all open space, isn't it? So someone might hit me. So that's why I'm going to punch and bring the arm back down. So I'm punching to the belly and bringing the arm back down. But also, I'm going to protect the underneath of my ribs with the fourth uh, move, which is the knee block. Okay? So punch to the face, elbow block. Punch to the belly, elbow, uh, knee block. And my fist come back to my face. It's confusing, it's a lot of work. But you can always pause and rewind this and start from the beginning. But it's really good. It's really helpful moves. So from here. One. Front punch. Block, uh, rise, uh, elbow, uh, let's start again. One. Front punch. Elbow block. Front punch to the belly. Knee block. Two. Front punch to the face. Elbow block. Front punch to the belly. Knee block. Three, punch, block, punch, block. Four, punch, block, punch, block. Five, punch, block, punch, block. I'm not going to shout out anymore, just the numbers. And now I'll start speeding up on number seven, I think. Ready? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Excellent, well done. So that is something really difficult. That is something really new to you as well, because you only knew that there was eight basic blocks. 
but it's in the name, eight basic blocks. There are higher level blocks, so intermediate blocks and advanced blocks. So an elbow block is an intermediate block, a middle block, yeah? A advanced block is more like when you're moving and doing a block, or it could be a block, of, sort of like a cross block, where you're trying to catch someone with a knife to take hold of their wrist, twist them around and put them on the floor to front, wrist front. That's an advanced block. Or a block where you automatically go into a lock. Okay? You'll learn those a lot higher in the belts. Um, the cross block for a wrist, for a knife, is a black belt. Or a final brown belt move, actually. So, boom. And then, the one where you catch a hammer fist and you lock to bring them down, that is a brown belt move. So, there are lots of different moves. So, your eight basic blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your intermediate blocks. Elbow blocks, knee blocks, X blocks, high, low, and in front. Okay? So they are your different blocks. And then your higher blocks, which we'll show you later on. What I want you to do now, okay? Using a front punch, a elbow block, a belly punch and a knee block, I want you to swap them around so they're not in that order. We are now going to go for front punch to the face, knee block, back punch to the face, and now a front elbow block. So I'm going to do 10 with you on each side for this. So I've changed it. Okay. And this is the beauty of blocks, that they can work on any side. So from here, front punch, knee block, back punch, elbow block. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A lot simpler than the other version. Once you're into the part, uh, in, once you're into the flow of things, it's sort of like a dance as you're learning to do it. Same as sweeping the foot. Yeah. You go boom, boom. You learn first of all. You need to go there and then pull it across. But once you've practiced it enough times, it's just sort of like a sweeping motion, a little bit of a dance. So ten with me on each side. And then we'll be finishing from the line. So fists up. So I'll, shout, I'll walk through them each one for the first five and then this last five parts. You do it on your own just to make out. Okay, get ready. One, punch, knee block, punch, elbow block. Two, punch, knee block, punch, elbow block. Three, punch, knee block, punch, elbow block. Four, punch, knee block, punch, elbow block. Five, punch, knee block, punch, elbow block. Excellent. I'm just going to shout the numbers now and do the techniques. I'm not telling you what they are. If you get stuck, rewind it. Start from the counting again. Or just try and keep along with me. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Swap sides. So nice and slowly with me. Number one, front punch, knee block, back punch, elbow block. Number two, punch, knee block, punch, Elbow block. Three. Punch. Knee block. Punch. Elbow block. Four. Punch. Knee block. Punch. Elbow block. Five. Punch. Knee block. Punch. Elbow block. The more tired you are, the closer you get 
to punch yourself inside the head with that elbow. So just be careful. So last five now, I'm just going to shout the number and do the techniques with you and you're on your own. Again, if you get stuck or you're not sure or you want a bit more practice, just rewind the video. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Fantastic effort off every single one of you. So, what I would like you to do is practice that technique a couple of times this week. Yeah? Say, for instance, you are out in the garden because hopefully it's warming up and you're playing football and your brother or sister or whoever you're with is getting the ball. Yeah? And you're in goal or you're just stood there doing nothing. Just quickly. Left leg in front. One, two, uh, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, swap sides. One, two, three, four. Just have a quick go with the motions. It's really, really useful and it does help. Um, I'll give you an example. The more you practice, the better you get. When I was training for my black belt 13, 14 years ago, I would be making a sandwich in the kitchen, yeah? And I would be buttering my bread. And while I was buttering my bread, I would have one leg to the side and be buttering it. So first of all, I'm practicing my balance. And then, because I'm, I'm a big kid, right? I'd be getting a jam, I'd be scooping the jam onto the, onto the 